What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I am Marco Chilo from Marcelo Garcia Black Bell, five-time world champ, big us. Guys, if you're subscribed to my channel already, welcome. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure to click the button right there and subscribe. I'm gonna uh, 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 make sure that you don't miss the newest video. So, and there's a ton of videos for you guys to uh, watch and learn the best and unique details right there, okay? So please just subscribe to the channel and help me grow, okay? So guys, today on a, on a, on the lesson today, I'm gonna be show you guys three setup, uh, three triangle setup. I will say for white belts for the beginners, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to finish uh, uh, one style. If the person defend, you transition to the other style, and then the final one, the third one. If everything keep uh, going wrong, you can always just transition to another type of uh, triangle setup, okay? And also, I'm gonna give a heads up, especially for the white belts. When you go for a triangle, what things to avoid when you do a triangle setup, okay? So let's go in order and then you make sure you don't miss the, the small details, right? So I'm gonna go right here. First thing, I'm gonna start a close guard. I'm gonna have both sleeves into the control, okay? So, especially when the beginners start like figuring out submissions, triangle, it's one of the greatest attack to start uh, 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 learning in our earliest career right here. So I'm gonna go both grips, I'm gonna bear feet on the hip, avoid do this, avoid bring your arms, the person's arm around your legs, okay? That's the first thing you should be avoiding right here. Because for here, if Matt comes up and pull weight on me, now I have to carry his weight on my legs. So I always recommend keep the arm inside of your legs. Now I can open my guard anytime that I want. So now I'm gonna bring my foot inside the biceps like a spider, bring the arm outside. Don't keep the arm here, keep the arm outside. Now, the important part of the triangle here, turn around for a second, yes, is my hip elevate. So once I go my foot on the shoulder, I wanna really elevate my hip, where my ankle goes on, uh, the ankle goes on his hip, and now Matt cannot push it up. If I just try shoot the triangle right here, Matt just can push it up, and now it's gonna be super hard for me to finish the triangle right here. I want, I don't want it here, I want it here. Why, because once I elevate my hip, now if Matt try push it up, it's gonna be super heavy for him. Now, once I go, I wanna turn my toes out, okay? So now I wanna turn my toes out, that's the deal that I wanna point right here. Turn my toes out, I don't lock I don't try lock the triangle and then cross the arm. Why? Because the arm right now is against Matty's face. Now it's gonna be super hard for me to lock the triangle, okay? So please, if you're a beginner, just make sure, I will say even higher, higher belt too. Don't rush, don't try shoot a triangle. Try lock and then lock, cross the arm. Big problem, you're not gonna get into the choke, okay? So what are you gonna do here? Once I go, now I pull arm in. So once I bring my leg over, I wanna cross the arm first. Now when my leg goes, look how his face, his chin go over his arm. Now you just lock, okay? So don't cross before you pass, uh, don't cross uh, 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 after you pass the leg, okay? So cross before. So another thing to cross, to finish the triangle right here. Once you go, number one, uh, Right? So once I cross the arm, I shoot and lock, keep his head low right here. See like my, my foot's not pointing this direction. My foot pointing that way. I turn, now keep his posture low right here. Now what I wanna do, I cross the arm, drop the leg. Now guys, I want this knee over the shoulder. I don't wanna hit, I don't wanna see shoulder showing up. I wanna go here, I wanna chop right there. Now, I want my foot over my knee right here. So now all in this direction, I can't let it close. So from here, I just slide and finish the triangle right there. Okay, so one more time. From here, there. So now my foot goes inside, wrist, reach as far as you can. Okay, now you cross the arm and shoot. Now chop the, head, the leg and then cover up the shoulder and then lock right here and then 
I don't have to pull the head down. I just have to squeeze my legs and then hit tap, okay? So let's go uh, um, into, into the attack number two. This number two now will depends like, oh, I didn't get the perfect angle for the regular triangle, okay? What we're gonna do here? So I'm gonna go, same idea, here, bring my foot in. Once he sees, I'm gonna try bring my leg over to bring him down. And then what Matt's gonna do? He's gonna bring the arm out, okay? What I have to do here is just lock your feet, pinch your knees in. Once I pinch my knee in right here, so now there is like, I, I close it up his head into his shoulders. So now from here, just let go, move around a little bit. Just let go the slits. You don't even connect in your hands. If you connect, doesn't matter. So from here, what I wanna do, I wanna sit up and bring my knees down at the same time. Now I'm gonna hug right behind. If you see the camera, if the camera turn around a little bit, you see how I reach right behind and make like a this grip, okay? Just finger to fingers. So from here, I wanna go there, lock, okay? So I like to call this a slow death <laughs> because it's such a slow choke, the person don't see it's coming. Right here, all I have to do is bring my knees together, like extend my leg, excuse me, and now just keep tight. I don't squeeze in my head, my arms, nothing. I just keep tight and hit that. So it's very good variation if you cannot get to the regular triangle. So one more time, from here, go there, I go as far as I can, I shoot, and I couldn't pass his arm this way. He saw that, he bring the arm on this side. Okay, so bring the arm this side. So look what I'm gonna do. I wanna bring my hip down, lock my feet. Just from here, lock my feet. Now what I have to do, give up and do a big hug. Right behind, it's not difficult at all. It will be difficult if I, cannot bring my shoulder, if I don't bring my shoulder off the mat. So from here, sit up, lock, and I have plenty of space right here. And now just extend your leg and hit taps. Comes really quick and also comes like very slowly and the person don't see and then they pass out, okay? So do the detail number two. So let's go into the detail number three. But before you go into the detail number three, guys, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and help me grow, okay? So be, I really appreciate you guys' support. All right, let's go for the detail number three. Same thing. Go there, I shoot as high as you can, and then this time, once I lock right hit, for some reason he's strong, he opened the elbow out. Now we'll be able to pass this arm, and now he's gonna lock the hands under hip, underneath my hip. Same thing, don't let go the attack. Lock, okay? So now, instead I'm gonna go for the regular triangle because I cannot, you see like this space right here, I cannot lock. Now I wanna bring this leg to this side. See from here, over there. Now I'm gonna go outside, let go the head, the hand because he's holding. Now I'm gonna go for the reverse triangle. Super tight. Now imagine my knees are going to each other. Just connect my knees and squeeze and tap. Okay? So it's very simple, but very effective right here as long as you don't miss your trip. So from here, I go there. You wanna go here, he knows he lock his hand underneath. I still going for the triangle. I lock my feet to keep him under my leg. Don't let him posture up. Bring your hip down, break his posture, okay? Now, my leg gonna go on this side. Let go here. Go outside his head, hold the shin. Lock. You don't have to have a long leg. Now from here, you can see Matt's face getting red. It's a matter of time. All I have to do is hold, hold my knees and squeeze my legs together. And effortless. Like this one, it's super, super easy to get. So there's three triangle scenarios that beginners can uh, 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 make strong your, your, your technique, okay? So now let's move on to what you're looking for, especially the beginners when they go for the triangle, what they usually do normal. They don't know much, right? Maybe they, they, they don't have much guidance, just get a triangle attack, but nothing else. What I like to teach my students is, I give you guys the idea and what comes with, what can goes wrong in the other side. For example, I will show them uh, 
a triangle attack, for example, right? But also I give them a heads up what can happen when the person react against my attack, okay? So this is what happened here. So I'm gonna go into a triangle. You cannot freeze and wait for things to start like to get done, okay? So when I go for the triangle right here, normally Matt take his head out. So when I go here, he passes uh, from here. Now he can use his hands and tuck my leg to the other side. Boom. Now people gonna freeze right here. Don't freeze. I will have to do from here. Don't try go upside down like this. This was looked like. So don't freeze. Just relax. Give up. Face your partner. And now from here, bring your feet back and then engage guard. Okay. So scenario also can happen. Don't freeze, guys. Next scenario that can happen as well. Once I go for the triangle right here, I might lock my feet and now match start cross like stack. I don't do this because I lost the angle, okay? So all I have to do here, when match starts stacking me right here, I let go, bring this leg over the arm. Now he cannot stack me, bring this leg over the arm. You can go here, back over there, and I do this drill. I like to do this drill, especially for the white belt. Once I shoot a triangle, it goes here. This leg, don't freeze. This leg, when he wants this leg off of his head so he can go here and pass my guard. So keep the arm here, bring this leg over here, bring this leg over there. So now I'm at bring leg back, he can't. Now I reposition, hit there, and then I go again. Shoot, and then he stacks. Don't do this. Bring your leg back over the side. Here, here, and back in the position, okay? Don't let go of the sleeves, don't freak out. And the last, the last one here, when I go for the triangle, Matt stacks. He stacks, like just pull over me, pull weight on me, Matt, pull weight on me, yes! Don't, don't do this, because that's what he wants, to stack me, okay? So look what I'm gonna do here. Every time Matt pull weight on me, I'm gonna give up on the triangle. Walk your shoulder back. Don't keep close. Don't try lock right here because it's look, it's very really hard to talk. So walk your shoulder, open up, give up and reset your position, okay? So those are the things that you should be watching out because that's what makes you lose the position and make even worse, you get hurt, okay? So those are the three attacks plus things that you should be watching out when you go for the uh, triangle attack when the person defending into attacks, okay? So please, just be careful and be safe out there and get those three uh, triangle attacks and drill make your triangle uh, uh, attacks sharp, okay? So thank you so much. And if you guys want to check it out, my instructionals at DJ Fanatics, I'm gonna put the link right in the description of this video, so make sure to check it out. There's a tons of uh, uh, guard situation there, last guard, close guard, how to pass half guard, and many others. So make sure to check it out, okay? So thank you so much. And please, don't forget to subscribe.